Hi, my name is Laura Collett. I'm going to take you through the counter canter and flying changes. In the counter canter, it's important to keep a slight um, bend towards the leading leg. So as you go into the counter canter, you'll be in wrong bend, really. Um, and uh, the aid is to keep the correct lead is the um, as you come around the counter canter, the outside leg, which then becomes the inside leg, slightly back. And to keep the activity in the hind leg, you, you keep working the opposite leg closer to the girth. That keeps it clear for the horse that you want them to stay on that leg. So the flying change, as you come wherever you're positioning to do your flying change, it's really important to keep them very straight. Um, on the line and pick the point where you want to do the flying change, balance them up a little half halt before the flying change um, and then you basically change the leg aid so you want to change your what is your inside leg to um, that will be back to move that forward and vice versa with your outside leg and um, you want it to be a clean change, you don't want them to be late behind so to keep the jump in the canter not go too slow but at the same time you want them balanced so you um, don't go too fast.